let's get right into it. Number 9. The Mystery of the Vanishing Potatoes Here's a math problem that will break your brain. You've got 100 pounds of fresh potatoes sitting in front of you. These potatoes are 99% water, which means only one pound is actual potato stuff. Leave them out in the sun for a day. The water content drops by just 1%, from 99% to 98%. Put these slightly drier potatoes on the scale. They weigh 50 pounds. That's right, half the original weight is gone. This isn't some magic trick or measurement error. It's pure math. That one pound of actual potato stuff doesn't change. But now instead of being 1% of the total weight, it's 2%. If one pound is 2% of something, that something has to be 50 pounds total. The universe is playing a cruel joke on your common sense. Losing 1% of anything shouldn't cut it in half. But grab a calculator and the math checks out perfectly every single time. This paradox proves that sometimes the universe runs on completely insane logic. Number 8. The Lie That Breaks Reality Pinocchio stands in front of you right now. His nose grows when he lies, that's the rule we all know. But then he says these words, My nose will grow now. If his nose grows after he says this, that means he was telling the truth. But his nose only grows when he lies. So if he was telling the truth, his nose shouldn't grow. But if his nose doesn't grow, then he just lied about it growing. And if he lied, his nose should grow. We're stuck in an infinite loop that breaks the rules of reality. It's like dividing by zero, but with words. This paradox literally creates a situation where reality can't function. The universe's code has a bug, and an 11-year-old found it in 2001. A kid basically hacked reality with a wooden puppet and seven words. Our universe might not be as stable as we think. What if there are other sentences out there that could break reality? It's like we're all living in a computer program. And these paradoxes are the bugs that make everything freeze. Number 7. Spooky action at a distance. Two particles can be best friends. They're so close that even when you separate them by billions of light years, they still act like twins. Whatever happens to one instantly happens to the other. This isn't science fiction. It's quantum entanglement. Einstein hated this idea so much he called it spooky action at a distance. According to physics, nothing can travel faster than light. Nothing. But these entangled particles don't care about your rules. Mess with one particle, its partner reacts instantly. Not in a second, not in a millisecond. Instantly. Even if one particle is on Earth and the other is in another galaxy, Einstein argued there must be some hidden explanation. He said, God does not play dice with the universe. Well, turns out God might be running a cosmic casino after all. Experiment after experiment has proven this is real. The particles aren't just copying each other. They're sharing one existence. It's like they're the same thing existing in two places at once. Your common sense is wrong. Your understanding of space and time is wrong. Everything you think you know about how the universe works is probably wrong. We use this impossible phenomenon in quantum computers right now. We're literally building technology based on something that breaks the laws of physics. Number 6. The Duplicating Matter Paradox Take a solid ball, like a billiard ball. Cut this ball into a few pieces and put it back together. But when you reassemble it, you now have two identical balls. Not smaller balls, not hollow balls. Two perfect copies of the original ball. Two mathematicians named Banach and Tarski proved this is actually possible. You're literally duplicating matter from nothing. This breaks every law of physics. You can't create matter from nothing. And you'd be right. This shouldn't be possible in our physical world. But this isn't some theoretical thought experiment. This is actual proven mathematics. The catch is that the pieces you cut the ball into aren't normal pieces like slices of pizza. They're bizarre collections of individual points that don't follow our normal rules of physics. These pieces are so weird that measuring their size doesn't even make sense anymore. It's like finding a glitch in the matrix. A way to duplicate matter by exploiting the weird mathematics of infinity. This only works in three-dimensional space or higher. You can't do this in two-dimensional or one-dimensional. It's like our three-dimensional universe has this built-in duplication glitch that breaks the conservation of matter. It's like finding out there's a cheat code in reality itself. Number 5. The Hotel with Infinite Rooms A hotel has an infinite number of rooms. Every single room is full, not a single vacancy. A new guest shows up. In a normal hotel, they'd be turned away. But this isn't a normal hotel. The manager gets on the intercom and says, Hey everyone. Move to the next room number up. So the guest in room 1 goes to room 2, room 2 goes to room 3, and so on forever. And just like that, room 1 is now empty for the new guest. What if an infinite number of new guests show up? 
no problem. The manager just tells everyone to move to double their room number. Room 1 moves to room 2. Room 2 moves to room 4. Room 3 moves to room 6. Now all the odd-numbered rooms are empty, and since there are infinite odd numbers, you can fit infinite new guests. This is mathematically proven to work. Think about that. A completely full hotel can fit infinite more people. This paradox shows that infinity breaks the basic rules of how the universe should work. If you can add more stuff to something that's completely full, what else about reality is broken? Number 4. The time-traveling twin. You have an identical twin. You both grow up together, doing everything at the exact same time. One day, your twin decides to become an astronaut and hop on a spaceship that can travel almost as fast as light. Meanwhile, you stay on Earth. Your twin comes back from their space journey. They've only aged two years, but you have aged 30 years. And this isn't some sci-fi nonsense. This is actual physics that would really happen. Scientists have already proven this with super-precise atomic clocks on fast-moving planes. The faster you move through space, the slower time moves for you. But wait, isn't motion relative? Couldn't both twins say the other one was moving? That's exactly what makes this a paradox. The twin in the spaceship has to accelerate, slow down, turn around, and accelerate again to get back home. These changes in speed are what breaks the symmetry. The very act of changing your speed literally warps how time flows around you. Time itself isn't fixed. It stretches and squishes like a rubber band depending on how fast you're moving. Everything you thought you knew about time being the same for everyone is just wrong. The craziest part is this means if we ever build ships fast enough, you could travel to distant stars and come back to find your great-great-grandkids are now older than you. Your own descendants would be senior citizens while you're still young. Number 3. The Loop of No Origin you're a scientist, and one day you get a letter in the mail. Inside is a formula that would revolutionize physics forever. The handwriting looks familiar because it's yours. The letter is from your future self. You use this formula to build a time machine, travel back in time, and give the same formula to your past self. But where did the formula actually come from? Your future self got it from your past self. Who got it from your future self? It's like a snake eating its own tail. There's no beginning and no end. This is called the bootstrap paradox, and it breaks everything we know about cause and effect. Every invention, every discovery, every idea has a starting point. Someone had to be the first person to think of it. But in this loop, the formula exists because it exists. It's like that one friend who shows up to every party, but nobody remembers inviting them. There is no starting point. The formula is just floating through time like a cosmic hot potato. Nothing in the laws of physics says this can't happen. So either our understanding of reality is completely wrong, or the universe allows for things to exist without ever being created. If that's true, what else exists simply because it exists? Maybe your thoughts aren't really yours. Maybe free will is just an illusion. And everything we'll ever create already exists, waiting to be discovered in an infinite cycle. Number 2. The future you caused. You discover time travel exists, the first thing you want to do is prevent a terrible fire that killed hundreds of people. You're determined to be a hero and save all those lives. Jump in your time machine, travel back, and rush to the building where the fire started. In your panic to prevent the disaster, you accidentally knock over a lantern. And that's exactly what started the fire in the first place. You weren't preventing history. You were causing it. This is called the predestination paradox. Because it means everything you do to change the past was already part of the past. Every choice you make, every attempt to fix things, was already destined to happen. It's like you're an actor in a play, but you don't have the script. You think you're making choices, but really you're just following stage directions you can't see. This might mean free will is just an illusion. Every choice you think you're making might have already been decided. You're just acting out a script that was written before you were born. So next time you make what feels like a choice, ask yourself, did you really choose? Or was that choice made for you billions of years ago when the universe began? Number 1. Killing your own past. You've got a time machine and you're feeling a bit spicy. You decide to travel back in time to prevent your own birth by taking out your grandfather. If you succeed in preventing your grandfather from having kids, your parent would never be born. And if your parent was never born, you wouldn't exist. But if you never existed, how did you go back in time to stop your grandfather in the first place? It's like trying to delete the computer you're using to delete files. Some scientists think the universe has a built-in anti-paradox defense system. Every time you try to kill your grandfather, something would stop you. Your gun would jam, you'd trip on a banana peel, or a piano would fall from the sky. 
the universe would basically turn into a slapstick comedy just to preserve its own existence. But what if you did succeed? The moment you prevent your own existence, reality itself would shatter. It would be like dividing by zero in the universe's calculator. You'd create a moment where you both exist and don't exist at the same time. Einstein himself lost sleep over this stuff. Because if this paradox is possible, it means our entire understanding of how the universe works is wrong. It's more like a house of cards that could collapse if someone pulls out the wrong card. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.